Montana offers amazing views filled with diverse landscapes of rugged mountains, desert plains, rivers, and hot springs. The Treasure State has many attractions and fun activities to make your vacation memorable. Before we jump onto the best things to do in Big Sky Country, make sure to subscribe to the Via Travelers channel, where we help travelers get the best travel experience around the globe. Check out some of our recommended tours and essentials in the description below. Hey everyone, it's James from Via Travelers, and in this video I'll be showing you the best places to visit in Montana for a fun-filled vacation. You can check out the video description for our recommended essentials when visiting Montana. Montana is the only state to border three Canadian provinces, offering a great opportunity to experience sceneries and attractions from the two countries. Montana has a ton to offer different enthusiasts, but it's a state best enjoyed outdoors. It's freaking beautiful! Whether you're heading to northwestern Montana, southern Montana, or the rocky mountain region of western Montana, you'll find a wide variety of activities and attractions for history buffs, outdoor enthusiasts, and fans of art, culture, the Wild West, and dinosaurs. Yup. The state is most known for its outdoor recreation, like skiing, snowboarding, fishing, golfing, and hiking. Glacier National Park, or Glacier National Park, is one of the most visited parks in the United States, with over 3 million visitors each year. The park has over 700 miles of trails to explore, along with beautiful scenery. Bozeman, Montana is home to the Museum of the Rockies, which is one of the best places to learn about dinosaurs in the US. The museum has one of the largest collections of dinosaur fossils in the world, with over 300,000 specimens. The city of Billings is home to art galleries, museums, and theaters. It's also a great place to learn about the history of the American West. Great Falls is home to the C.M. Russell Museum, which is dedicated to the art and life of cowboy artist Charles M. Russell. The city is also home to beautiful waterfalls, hiking trails, and golf courses. When planning your visit to Montana, make sure to include at least two of these best places in Montana. Bozeman is a small town located in southwest Montana. It's the perfect place to start your Montana vacation. As mentioned, the town is home to the Museum of the Rockies, with its massive collection of dinosaur bones and fossils. In addition to the Museum of the Rockies, Bozeman is something of a cultural hub playing host to art galleries, museums, and theaters. It's a great place to learn about Montana and the history of the American West at large. The city is also surrounded by beautiful scenery and hiking trails. If you're looking for a small town with a lot to offer, Bozeman is the perfect place to visit in Montana. There is no shortage of activities to enjoy in Glacier National Park. Hiking is one of the most popular activities, and with over 700 miles of trails to explore, there's a trail for every walker. For those who want a more challenging hike, there are several backcountry trails that offer stunning views of the surrounding scenery. There are also plenty of opportunities for fishing, camping, and wildlife watching. In addition, the park offers several ranger-led programs that are a great way to learn more about the park and its history. Whether you're looking for a relaxing vacation or an adventure-filled getaway, Glacier National Park is sure to have something for you. Paradise by name, paradise by nature. There's no shortage of outdoorsy things to do in lovely Paradise Valley. This neck of the woods is home to several hot springs, which are perfect for relaxing after a long day of hiking or sightseeing. In addition, there are plenty of opportunities for fishing, rafting, and other outdoor activities. Yellowstone National Park is just south of the valley, and its proximity to the park and some lovely small towns make it a great base camp for exploring all that the area has to offer. Speaking of lovely small towns, Livingston is the perfect destination for your next vacation if you're looking to enjoy the great outdoors. The small town in southwestern Montana is home to several fly fishing guides and outfitters, making it a popular destination for fly fishing enthusiasts. In addition to fly fishing, there are also several hiking trails and horseback riding trails in the area. Livingston has something for everyone, whether you're looking to relax and cast a line or explore the beautiful scenery. Billings is the perfect place to go if you're looking for another small city with a lot to offer. The city is home to several art galleries, museums, and theaters, making it a great day trip destination to hit up on rainy days. Billings is also a great place for some retail therapy. This compact city has a variety of mom and pop shops and boutiques, ideal for finding unique gifts and souvenirs. Missoula is another small city located in western Montana. The city is home to the University of Montana and is known for its younger crowd and lively music scene. Another destination to hit up for the outdoorsy types, the city has several splendid parks and trails to explore. Make sure to visit Hellgate Canyon, 
a beautiful canyon located in Missoula. The canyon is known for its breathtaking views and the river that runs through it. If you're looking for a place to enjoy the outdoors, Hellgate Canyon is the perfect place to hike in Montana. But it's not all outdoor adventures. In addition to the parks, there are also several museums and galleries in town that are well worth hitting up. Yellowstone National Park is one of the most popular tourist destinations in America, let alone Montana. The park is famous for its geothermal features such as geysers and hot springs. In addition to the geothermal features, Yellowstone National Park is also home to abundant wildlife, including bears, wolves, and bison. From Montana, visitors can enter the park through the northern or western entrances. The northern entrance is located near Gardner, Montana, while the western entrance is located near West Yellowstone, Montana. Both entrances offer a variety of activities and attractions for visitors to enjoy. I could go on forever about Yellowstone. And in fact, we already have. At length, son! So check out viatravelers.com if you'd like to know more. Anyway, regardless of which entrance you choose, a visit to Yellowstone National Park is sure to be an unforgettable experience. Big Sky is one of the most beautiful places in Montana, and somewhere where the nickname Big Sky Country finds true meaning. The scenery is simply spellbinding, and there are plenty of things to do in the area. You can go hiking, biking, fishing, camping, and more. There are also some great restaurants and bars in the area, so you can enjoy a delicious meal or drink after a long day of exploring. The town is famously home to Big Sky Resort, a very popular ski resort. In addition to skiing and snowboarding, the resort also offers a variety of other activities, such as mountain biking and horseback riding. The state capital of Montana, Helena, is a beautiful and historic city rich with gold rush history. Today, Helena is a popular tourist destination known for its many museums and art galleries, as well as its proximity to hiking and skiing opportunities in the surrounding mountains for anyone seeking a little adventure. The Montana Historical Society Museum in Helena is a must-see attraction for visitors to the city. The museum features exhibits on the history of Montana, including its gold rush history, as well as a wide variety of art and artifacts. Another popular attraction in Helena is the Last Chance Gulch Shopping District, which offers a wide range of retailers and restaurants to check out. Located in southwest Montana, West Yellowstone is a small gateway town to Yellowstone National Park. While in West Yellowstone, visitors can explore the many shops and restaurants in town, as well as take part in a variety of outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, and wildlife watching. During the winter months, West Yellowstone is also a popular destination for cross-country skiing and snowmobiling. Obviously, no trip to West Yellowstone would be complete without a visit to the nearby Yellowstone National Park where visitors can see some of the most amazing natural wonders in the world. Visiting any 10 of these locations will guarantee a great experience for your vacation. Visiting two will surely help build memories for a lifetime. Why? Because Montana really is that beautiful. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our humble travel channel for more travel guides, travel destinations, and travel reviews, and travel tips. This is James signing off. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later, taters.